What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more solo leveling. Last episode was incredible. I'm super excited for episode five. But before we get into it, we do have a couple of questions over here on the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have a Q&A section on the Discord where you guys can ask me anything, and I'll try to answer it before the next reaction to the episodes. We have two questions. First one comes from Evie Neeks, who asks, with Jinwoo's status ability graphic, how would you spend your status points, and what class do you think fits in with that status, like tank, assassin, mage, healer, warrior, etc.? It's a great question because I'm the one saying he might need to respec because he's been putting everything into strength. It's a great question. It sounds a little corny, but I think he's going to be more of a physical fighter rather than a mage. So I wouldn't put any into intellect, but I would try to balance the other ones out, whether it's agility, dexterity, strength, because you don't want to be one of those berserkers where you're too strong, but you can't move at all because speed is such a weakness. But I have a feeling, especially with his, his body type, you can see he's getting stronger. I would do agility, dexterity, and strength, like a balance between that. And in terms of a role that would fit, he could be borderline soldier, warrior, bruiser, depending on how much strength he goes, or borderline rogue, assassin, something in the in the, in the middle of that. Because, I mean, he had like a normal, like not like a long sword, but he had a normal, like, he could go daggers and go assassin more mobile, but he wants strength. He wants to fit, you know, so I'm curious. I would go a balance between those because I would like to be a physical attacker. I'm not too big into the mage healer. Healing is kind of broken, but you could always get someone else like Juhi to be your healer. It's a great question, Evie Neeks. Thank you. Second question comes from Layson, who asks, um, based on what we've seen last episode, how do you rank Sun Jin Woon from S to E with his current level? Also a great question. We know the the rock monster he fought at the end was a d rank boss and he was he thought it was weakened by the other hunters when he broke its defenses with a broken dagger that he just threw but it definitely wasn't that was all him i would assume he was e i would assume so far he's like because ju he's a b right and song mr song said he's been in a couple of b ranked dungeons and they're kind of crazy I would assume he's C, bordering B. I don't think he's A or S yet because some of the abilities that they have is insane. But I think with his progression rate, he easily could be A really soon. I would say C, maybe B. But he's he's already to it. Like, that's insane. That's insane. Great question, though. I appreciate you. Like I said, we do have that Q&A section. Thank you so much for the questions. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into solo leveling. All right, here we go. Solo leveling episode five. I sure did. You mean the E-rank? Even the nurses are gaming my boy up. He's getting that physique. He's looking diesel. He's got to do his dailies, you know, his strength quests, all that. Man, I might get inspired by Jin Woo, you know? Even his hair is looking different. He's looking like Killua in that one episode. You know what I'm saying? My boy's looking ripped. His voice is a little deeper. He's definitely more slimmed. His haircut's different. I know people meme. I don't know how much of a meme it is. They call him Sung Drip Woo. Like he's... Hey, nurse with the Riz. Is it a completely different voice actor? I assume same voice actor. They, they have great range. You know, it just makes it a little different, you know? But he definitely looks... Fucking, he looks fire. News, Ultra Morning. Like I said, Jin Woo might inspire me to start working out, bruh. Oh, that's the Berserk guy from episode one. One of the only seven? There's only seven S ranks in this whole country? I love these morning show kind of questions, you know? That's good. Yeah, firefighters gotta be on, on their P's and Q's, so I respect that. Bro, he looks so different. Even she's like, damn, when did you get so fucking cut? He's physically so different. Got the fucking jawline now. Oi. The whole Sung family is looking beautiful now. Gina's been beautiful. My man's looking handsome. 
more handsome than ever. Now we just need to get mom back to being healthy. Level 18, Wolf Assassin. I love that title. I just want to see where his points have been distributed so far. So he's doing pretty evenly. He still has 12 available to spend. I know once he levels up, you get like, what, one or three to everyone. Um, he's still been putting most of them into strength. Everything else has been pretty evenly upgraded, though. What I'm saying, you have to have a good balance. You have to have a good balance. Yeah, vitality is your health. Perception is great. Your perception is insane. He's literally saying what I'm saying. Yeah, and... Yeah, but you can't be a yeah, I was gonna say, someone pointed out in my comments last video, I love that kind of perspective that I wasn't thinking about. I was thinking he was being purely humble, not accepting credit for taking down that rock golem. But it makes more sense from a political standpoint that you're never gonna get stronger or level up once you're stuck in your level. So if he did take credit, even if he wanted to, an E rank doing that would just draw way too many eyes, way too much attention to him. So like, this is a great question. How does an E rank hunter who's now b rank you know ideally how does he do this how does he blend in you could get reappraised that's a great thing to do definitely stand out though you know there's a saying about the nail that sticks out it gets hammered i like that i respect his deductions his uh, observations everything you know man is an astute Guy, he's on it. Oh. Wait, wait, oh, they need him to make the quota of the amount of people for the dungeon. Okay. Two million just for participating is quite crazy. And he can tell they're... Oh, I love this, bro. That perception is so good. You could help with our baggage. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, to blend in. It does. I would prefer a little bit more of a balanced gang, you know? Oh yeah, I'm used to Yen. If it is one, it's not that much. That's a good point. Yu Jin Ho. 21-year-old D-rank. Okay. I like your attitude so far. I like your fit. Yeah, this family's gotta have some chatter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> At least we're open about it. I like his little plucky attitude so far. This is much bigger than that E rank or D rank dungeon we did the first episode. Okay. That's good. I love the world building. This is going to be interesting for all of us, just like Jin Wu. My first time in there as well. Oh, I love the way they just animate them getting in here. You won. Give me some light. Oh, he's a magic user. I'm glad we have a newbie who's asking a lot of questions because I would like to ask a lot of questions too, you know? Shout out Jin Woo for helping out. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no monsters. What do you hear? What? That's a good question. What kind of creature? Insect type beast. I would fucking shit myself. It makes more sense with the cave branching off like this. This looks like a inside of a hive. Oh, I love the way they visualize that. He used taunt, just like any other game. I love that foursome. Ooh, 
I love the video game aspect. I've never seen a taunt like in an anime. So taunt them to keep them distracted with the physicalness. Then your magic user comes in with a fire spell. Literally the fire spell. They're actually a great team. They're well coordinated. Yeah, he does have some very high price and expensive good gear. And I love the deductions and how observant Jin Wu is every time, man. He literally back kicked it. He said something feels off. Yeah, there's no way it would be this easy for just a C rank. Oh, there's something bigger. That's what makes me nervous. Something else. There's always a bigger fish. I like this guy's voice actor, too. Oh, Queen would make sense, especially in an insect colony. Yeah. He also feels like something's off. Ooh, is this like the guild workout center? I like the logo for the guild. <laughs> That's the boy from earlier. There's a reason he's one of the only seven S ranks in the country. Didn't even amount to a warm up. Mm. I'm so curious. I love my man's deductions. One that needed extra members to fill the quota. Do they leave you for dead? Do they try to kill you at the end and not pay you? Like, because you're in the dungeon, you signed the liability waiver, you know? Ooh, hell no. As soon as I start seeing webbing like that, hell no. Looks like a place where they'd lay like larvae and eggs and shit. Or where you feed on prey. Oh, this is a lot of mana crystals. Wow. Mr. Dong Suk, even your brother. Who is his brother? Interesting. He's got aspirations, ambitions. How long would it take you to physically mind this, you know? Theoretically, we should get a share of this. I don't know, especially with what we just heard of his, of his ambitions. I don't know if it's going to go down quite like that. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. I would be way too shitting myself to start mining with that thing sleeping there. See this? Yeah, this is not boating too well with me. I mean, why can't we come with you? Nothing's gonna happen here. Yeah. That's horribly fucked up we're gonna force they're gonna make them die in here sealing them with the boss oh hell no mr song warning us no one can ver verify the veracity and it would never come to light exactly yeah, there's no way to tell the truth, you know? Like a lizard leaving its tail behind. And I like Jin Ho so far. I'm, I don't know how this is going to end up, how this is going to work out. Damn. His perception, man. And now the boss is waking up after that explosion. You're going to be the only witness to how great we are, but this is going to be our real test as to how strong Jin Wu was. I 
again, nothing will compare to him. So I love how he references that all the time. Summon the new dagger we got from the fucking snake last episode? Don't end the episode here. Do not end the... That is a shot right there. God. These cliffhangers. They're, they're way too good with these cliffhangers, bro. A1 with these cliffhangers are gonna be the death of me. I swear. I cannot stand any more of them. They're so good. But I love the world building aspect of these. I'm learning a lot more, whether it's the essence stones, the glow stones, the mana stones, how you should diversify your ability points, this, that, and the third. Um, obviously, he doesn't want any public eyes or attention on him especially as he's leveling up so much stronger first off him physically he's taller he's more cut he's stronger his voice is deeper his hair is better he's got more of a defined like all in all man i'm loving the progress made to jin woo like i said i've heard the memes that his nickname is sung drip woo you know drippy jin woo like the boy is gonna be wavy i can already see it and his confidence and the way he talks especially at the end there he's like don't worry jin ho stand back i'll fight you yeah, after going through the traumatic experience that he did in episode two, that man's just different now. And I love it. I love this dungeon we're in. We're going to finally get to see how he fares up against a C level boss dungeon. I love that he's using the dagger he got from the last boss he just fought. I thoroughly am enjoying Jin, Jin Ho, Jin Ho's character and uh, how much of a newbie he is, how he's like a greenhorn. The guys who just left us to die in there the big thing I'm curious about, because obviously I expect us to be able to fight through this. And, and the two things I'm really curious about is I expect Jin Woo to obviously fight this spider and beat it. But how is Jin Ho going to react to the weakest hunter in mankind beating this and E rank hunter especially? And two, how dark is Jin Woo going to get with the reprimanding of the people who left us to die? Is it going to be a we report them to the association style event where they just get maybe their hunter's licenses revoked or whatever that may be? Or is it going to be he whoops some ass? He's too much of a good hearted person to whoop some ass. So I don't think it's going to be that. But I'm very curious how this is going to go. You know, I love his perception. They would have all died without him noticing they're coming up top. I love the dungeons. I love seeing more of Bake, but Bake, um, the guy that we saw with lightning claws in episode one, how he's one of the only seven S rank hunters in the country is with his warm up and like, you know, like clearly they're just S is at a different level. So I'm so invested. I want to know so much of more of the world building, so much more of these characters, the fighting. Everything is just, it's so perfect if you're a video game nerd. It's so great. Even seeing what's his name in this, I don't like him anymore. Him, I'm not saying his name. He was a taunt. Like I've, I use taunt in almost any game I play, whether it's a JRPG, whether it's a dungeon crawler, but seeing it used in an anime is just so sick. You know? like I just love that aspect of the show. Like I said, though, Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying these episodes. I keep hearing gas about the next one. Everyone keeps saying the next one should be the best one yet. But with how Shibuya just went for JJK for me, I'm assuming I'm going to be told that quite a bit. Whereas, oh, the next one's going to be even better. And how much I doubted you guys in JJK, I'm never going to doubt you guys again. So I'm excited for it. I'm ready. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like on this reaction. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions. I'm going to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper. Squad. Peace out.